Hey everybody, how's it going? If you want to check out the Draconid meteor shower tonight, astronomers say there are usually about 10 to 20 meteors visible per hour. And according to NASA, this will peak late tonight around 2 a.m. However, it's still possible to see some meteors after sunset tonight through Friday night. In order to see these, just go outside and look straight up wherever you are. Astronomers say you don't need to find the radiant point to watch the meteors, but if you do want to find the head of the dragon where the meteors are radiating out from, just go outside around sunset and face the setting sun. In that direction, you'll be looking at the constellation Virgo setting below the horizon. Then look straight up and look for the very bright star Vega. Just below and to the right of Vega are the two bright stars of the dragon's head, what astronomers call the eyes of the dragon. And if you can't find the radiant point that way, astronomers recommend using the Big Dipper to locate the head of the dragon. The Big Dipper will be low on the horizon this time of year, so if your horizon is obstructed, you may not be able to see it. But if you can spot it, the Big Dipper can lead you to the North Star Polaris and up to the eyes of the dragon. The star on the far right of the Big Dipper points to Polaris which is at the end of the Little Dipper. And the Little Dipper is located in the curve of the dragon's tail. The dragon constellation will move lower on the horizon later in the night, and around 2 a.m. it will be at the horizon, although that won't affect your view of the meteors since they usually shoot across the sky. The Draconids are special for one reason, because they were mentioned in the ancient book of Revelation, along with a very rare celestial configuration that actually occurred in the sky three years ago in 2012. Also, if you get up early on Friday morning, astronomers say Comet 67P shuryumov gerasimenko will be visible in the east near the crescent moon and Venus. If you can't look at the Draconids tonight, there's a chance some meteors will be visible on Friday night as well. Also, astronomers say the Andromeda Galaxy will be visible throughout the whole fall season. The Andromeda Galaxy appears as a large fuzzy patch, bigger than a full moon in the sky, but much more faint. Apparently, you can see it with your eye alone, but binoculars help. So to find it, look toward the east just after sunset. It's to the upper left of the large V of of the Pisces constellation and to the direct left of the Pegasus square. For more information, there are links below this video on YouTube. I hope you're all doing well and I'll talk to you later.